What's up guys, Zidigami here. Let's go through Chaos Difficulty Diamante Coliseum. Round 1 will be versus Halloween Bartolomeo. He has 2.25 million hit points and is another character with tons and tons of hit barriers. So the solution is using 6 star Blackbeard. Now if you have 1 6 star Blackbeard as a captain, all your attacks will go through barriers. So we're going to be using... Uh, specials like killer to manipulate our orbs, go upon Usopp to delay so that way if we don't kill them all we can take several other turns, solid boost damage, and 5 plus Zoro. So he is a dex boosting captain. Uh, so if we had all six, oh, all five dex orbs here it would be a pretty easy kill. Uh, still with only four of them is a decently easy kill. And then after that, it's very easy to pick off all the rest of the four guys. All you gotta do Yigang, is using a friend, Blackbeard. Since he likes to ignore all the barriers, it's a very easy fight. Round two is gonna be versus Time Skip Usopp. Time Skip Usopp will preemptively gain a damage reduction buff. That's a percent damage reduction buff for three turns. Once again, we're gonna be using Blackbeard because Blackbeard ignores all those hard, hard things. So, Blackbeard. Cuts health by 30%, go upon Usopp to delay, because you can still delay. We're going to take our time and kill the Usopp first. Uh, Polly here is just to lock orbs, you don't really need to use it. I also have the Pika, because he will give you badly matching orbs too. Uh, or Usopp can give you badly matching orbs. I mean, I'm sorry, sorry, not Usopp will give you badly matching orbs. The guys in the background... If you get them below 50% health, they will give you badly matching orbs. Let me make sure I get the right words out. Uh, so, since I'm not actually bringing them below 50%, they're not going to give me those badly matching. You can do that on purpose, though. Like, on that attack, I could have started the attack on one of the guys in the back. Brought him below 50%, so that way my Pika will uh, give me all matching orbs on my powerhouse characters. Nightmare Luffy can also be used just for damage. Uh, but since they're so low, we're just going to attack one more time and then use Nightmare Luffy to finish the last guy off. Every other turn, or uh, every four turns, Time Skip Usopp will blind and poison your team for two turns. So it's going to be a 1,800 damage poison and a blind both for two turns. He does that every four turns. So you have two turns blinded and two turns not. And with a Blackbeard team, it's a pretty easy fight. Otherwise, you want to use your Golem Hunt Usopp to delay, kill the guys in the back first, and then kill Usopp after that. He doesn't do anything based off of health. But if you have a team with very, very high hit points, I believe he hits for 29,000 of your health is incredibly high, but I'm not sure where that cutoff is. Then we have Orlumbus. Orlumbus. Preemptively gives you all block orbs. Now Orlumbus is a cheeky bugger and he doesn't like it if you change their orbs to anything that's not block orbs. So if you use a orb manipulation special, like if you use Kinemon special here, he will change all of your orbs to block orbs. Which basically just resets it so if you use uh, Raid Boss Kuma, you'll orb boost block orbs which means you'll lower your damage. And here on turn 2 when he gives you all bomb orbs, if you use Kuma here, he would give you all block orbs once again. So you do not want to use any orb manipulation specials. So we're going to be using a 6 star Luffy friend. And whenever 6 star Luffy makes your dex and psi and quick orbs count as matching orbs, that actually is not an orb manipulation special. So Orlumbus is okay with it. Uh, so we're going to be using time skip Luffy special on turn 3 when he gives you dex orbs. Turn 4, he gives you Psy Orbs, and then after that, it repeats. So after that, he'll give you Block, then Bomb, then Dex, then Psy, and it keeps going in that order. Uh, so, Thousand Sunny will help deal damage. Sabo helps deal damage. Dofi shuffles our orbs around, and everything counts as matching orbs. All we have to do is attack him. Once Orlumbus goes down, then you can take your time and kill all the rest of the guys on the outside. Yeah, the time skip Luffy. Fairly easy fight once again. Uh, one thing to note also is after Orlumbus is dead, of course, you can once again use your orb manipulation special. So you can use Kinemon special and stuff like that after Orlumbus is dead. The guys on the outside have uh, about 500,000 hit points each, and they each attack for about uh, 3,000 for the quick guy and. Six to seven thousand for the rest of the guys, just like your standard 
uh, fodder characters, just with a lot more hit points. About 500,000 hit points for any of those guys. Next round is Gabi versus Young Doflamingo. Young Doflamingo is a strength character with 5,200,000 hit points. So we're going to be using a quick team with a cabbage friend. Uh, Doflamingo will preemptively rewind all your specials, but he does not rewind the special of your ship. So we're going to be using the Thousand Sunny 2 that has a special that reduces damage by 50% for one turn. Uh, so we are going to reduce the damage from Doflamingo's first attack, which is going to be for a cool 20,000 damage. So we're going to take 10,000 damage from his first attack. Just going to attack him for as much damage as we can. After that first attack, he will paralyze all of your characters for one turn. So you can either take that time out to manipulate your orbs around, try to get some matching orbs, or you can try to do some damage with whatever you can. I, I just look for some matching orbs on your characters. Every other turn, Doflamingo will rewind your specials by one turn. So you can stagger out your specials. You can use uh, Halloween Zoro for a one turn delay and then Usopp after that for more delay. You can also use the Duval to reduce your damage from an attack by 50%. And Doflamingo will attack every turn for 6,200 damage. That would effectively be only 3,000 damage for one attack. And since we are using an Anel Captain, uh, we'll be able to heal up some damage and take one hit and then use a Duval if we needed to and take another hit. And so here we're going to just take this attack with the thanks to the healing from our Anel. And after that we're going to be using our Usopp special and Cabbage special to make quick work of him. Keep Doflamingo above 30% health. Below 30% health he'll attack you for 30,000 damage when he attacks and paralyze all characters for one turn. Uh, but with Cabbage Special, your Cabbage Special will do tons and tons of damage, so we're just going to be using his special, Duval Special, and Golden Pound Usopp Special here. Golden Pound Usopp to delay works just fine. He doesn't get rid of delay or anything like that. And he won't actually do anything bad until he attacks. Uh, so we're going to be using everything except for our Nell Special. And the Nell Special is there just in case we uh, don't kill him with the two turns of cabbage attack. You won't even need a cabbage with cotton candy here. Just the regular attack from cabbage will be good enough. And here's his one turn delay. He does not paralyze until he attacks so you don't have to worry about paralysis. And then the second turn of attack will kill him and you still have another turn with Anel and then another turn of regular attacking if he's still alive after that. And the final stage is going to be one random fight on stage 3, Doflamingo on stage 4, and Diamante on stage 5. So the different random fights you can get are either Bartolomeo, Usopp, or Orlumbus. This time we happen to get Orlumbus. Now I am using a double Akainu team. I know it's not very helpful as far as what team for you guys to use, huh? Now the team that I would recommend if you're trying to do a free to play team, it's 6 star Luffy, 5 plus Luffy, Sabo, Hancock, Doflamingo, and Golden Pound Usopp. Use Golden Pound Usopp special on stage 3. Uh, you don't need to use a, a uh, Strong World Usopp here on this team just like I am right now. You can do this exact same team with regular Whitebeard with regular Usopp. And instead of using the Sanji, you can use a... Uh, you can use a... Uh, Colosseum... Zephyr, and you can use a regular Doflamingo too, a raid boss Doflamingo instead of the six star Doflamingo. So the only thing you would need is an Akainu captain, but that's kind of a, a big only. But for the the thing about the five plus Luffy time skip Luffy team, that uh, takes a bit of luck if you get some bad stage three fights or some bad cooldowns on some of the teams, then you're gonna have a very bad time. And I couldn't get quite get it to work with my limited tries before uh, using this Akainu new team because man it is just so so nice. Uh, but the stage 3 fights tend to be pretty much the same just with much lower hit points so you can power through. Round 4 Doflamingo is going to only have 2.5 million hit points so about half the hit points he had before. He still attacks for 20,000 damage as his preemptive attack so for whatever team you use you're still going to want to use the time skip 
Uh, I mean the uh, yeah the time skip thousand sunny or the coded thousand sunny for your damage reduction, and then kill him on whatever turns remaining on the Akainu team. We don't need to use a Akainu here. You can just pass the turn and take an attack. Uh, I decided to use an Akainu here because why not? You remember most importantly on Diamante when we get to Diamante, he does a right. He's a regular fight. If you do not kill the units around him, but if you kill the units around him, he does many, many different terrible, terrible things. Now, if you kill all the units around him, he will either uh, swap your captain with a random non-captain character for 30 turns, make perfect hard to hit, and blind you for 30 turns. He could also cut your health by 90% and bind and uh, bind both of your captains for seven turns. He can also attack for 50,000 damage. So. Whatever strategy you use, do not kill all the characters around Diamante because he will immediately end your turn and do one of those terrible things. And it's uh, it's all bad. <laughs> so whatever you do, make sure you leave your characters alive. So you can't use stuff like Strong World Luffy that kills everything. You can't use the guy new specials. But what does he actually do, right? Diamante is an int-driven slasher character. He has a max attack of actually 1,450 attack, a massive attack pool. Pretty good, even if you just want one copy of him for a stat stick. His captain ability boosts the attack of driven characters by 2.25 times and boosts the hit points of striker and slasher characters by 1.5 times. And that does stack, so if you have a driven striker or a driven slasher, they will benefit from both the attack and the hit point boost. His special deals large int damage to all enemies. And if you're at full hit points when you use a special, he boosts the attacks of all driven characters by two times. And if you're not at full health, he'll only boost the attack of uh, driven characters by 1.5 times. So that's potential two times driven character attack, which is amazing. And otherwise a 1.5 times driven character attack, which is pretty okay too. So Diamante is an amazing driven sub, a decent driven captain if you don't have anything else better. Guys, I've been Z Yummy. Thank you so much for watching, and y'all stay beautiful.